ಹಾಯ್ ಸರ್ ಹಾಯ್ ಶಿವ ಹಾಯ್ ಶಿವ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡೆಮೋ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಾ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಾ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಮೋ ಆನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಾ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಪುಟ್ ಆನ್ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋ ಹೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ AWS Lambda ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ uh so the scenario will be like this uh create uh, ec2 instances and uh, pull their uh, ids uh, means uh, uh, instant ids into this s3 bucket uh, by using this uh, aws lambda function so how can it works uh, we can see here in this demo first of all uh, let us discuss about the introduction about aws lambda so basically the aws lambda is a serverless computing service uh, which is offered by the amazon web services so this aws lambda uh, allows users uh, to run their own applications and execute their own codes uh, without uh, management of servers and paying the servers so this lambda reduces the efforts uh, basically the whatever the resources we have created and also the expenses associated with uh, buying this servers and maintaining the servers so this aws lambda will uh, replace this infrastructure and hardware by using this lambda functions and this aws lambda can scale this uh, up and down so based on this loads automatically uh, suppose uh, for the request uh, as per day to this uh, thousands of request per second it can scale up and down automatically by using this uh, lambda function and this aws lambda further enables users uh, to trigger and integrate with uh, various uh, services by using this lambda function as a software as a service uh, or of applications and finally this aws lambda offers uh, users with a flexibility to pay as uh, pay go only for the computation they have used whatever the uh, use services in, by using this lambda function so it is a pay as a flexibility to pay only so this is the introduction about aws lambda so these are the task which i am going to perform now so the first step is uh, create the iam role for aws lambda in order to uh, give the permissions for this aws lambda to execute this uh, integrate with other services and the second one is create aws s3 bucket and upload one empty csv file into this s3 bucket then the third one is create aws lambda function and upload the code uh, this lambda uh, function code then you can configure this test event inside this lambda function then the next step is we need to install python and port 3 and configure aws cli on the ec2 server then we can create this ec2 instances by using this bot03 with python after that we can verify these files in the s3 bucket uh, whatever the ids we are using uh, by creating the ec2 servers after that we can delete this ec2 instances by using this uh, python with bot03 script so let us uh, just go through with uh, step 1 so this is the task one uh, we are creating this iam role for aws lambda so for that uh, we need to log into this aws console first so just go to the aws console so this is my aws console uh, here i am in the region oregon so let's go to this iam role so click on this service so just to go to this roles so click on create role so i just follow the steps uh, this go to this ia management console and then you can click on this uh, roles menu on the left side then you can create this role so you can choose here for the lambda use case then click on next so now i am going to give the permissions so let me select the what are the permissions okay. 
if you can see here the image and S3 full access and the image and AC2 to the early access for this uh, lambda role. So let's make S3 full access. So check on this and the image. Or just type a to place. Amazon EC2, yeah, okay. And EC2. Imagine AC to be the only access. So check on this. So click on the next. So just give the role name. So just come down. So these are the permissions I have given to this group. So click on create role. So the uh, AWS uh, Lambda access role is created. So this is the task one. So in the next one, uh, so we are going to create this AWS S3 bucket and con upload the one empty CSV file. So let me just go to my AWS console. So just take this to get. So go to S3 console. So now I'm going to create one S3 bucket. Then I can upload. So just create bucket. The bucket name is AWS Lambda. So the region is US West 2. So you can mention this name of the bucket and you choose region then keep the remaining options as default so let's just keep this uh, options by default so click on create bucket contain upper case letters okay So click on create bucket. So 
So once the bucket is created, then we can upload uh, one empty CSV file. Go to this bucket. So this is my AWS Lambda S3. So just go to this bucket and upload one empty CSV file. So let me add the file. Test file. So this file doesn't have anything. So it's an empty .csv file. So I upload it into this uh, S3 bucket. So just click on upload. Okay, close this. So this is my AWS Lambda S3 bucket. So I have uploaded one empty test.csv file here. So this is the second uh, task. So I have completed this uh, creation of bucket and uploaded one empty CSV file and we have uploaded. So in the next task, uh, we are going to create one AWS Lambda. So go to the AWS console. Take one duplicate tab. Search this uh, Lambda function. So. So let me create the function. So this is the creation function page or author from scratch. So I have just uh, on this AWS Lambda console. So you can click on this function in the left menu, then you can create the function. So it looks like this page. Uh, you can select this other from scratch as the option. Then you can type the function as a name. Then you can select this runtime uh, 3.9 Python. And you can select the whatever you have created the role, the existing role. You can select that role. And finally, you can click on this create function. So let me just go to my AWS console. So let me just uh, give this function name. Runtime 3.9 select. Then just go to this. Make sure you have to use this uh, existing role because I have created uh, this AWS Lambda role access. So click on create. So this is my, uh, I have created this function, AWS Lambda function. And this is the task three. So this is the code. Actually, uh, what we are going to do in this code is, uh, first of all, we are going to importing this uh, Boto3, the Python, as well as the CSP file, and uh, URL libraries, and one list. 
So first of all, we are going to connect with these uh, resources. So here I'm using this bottle three with this client um, by using this S3 bucket, S3 client. And uh, for the EC2, I'm using this uh, resource with the bottle three. Then here I have defined this uh, lambda handler function with these parameters, event and context. So basically event is nothing but uh, it is one type of uh, data. So which it will pass to this uh, lambda handler function. Then it is the context also is a one type of uh, method. Uh, it is provides this um, runtime information to this handler. So these are the parameters which I have passed into this la lambda handler function. Here I have taken these filters. So now I have given this name with the instant state name. So the value is uh, you can mention uh, what is the instant state name, whether it is in running or stopped or any shutting down or terminated. You can just mention as per your requirement. So if we go to this next slide, um, filter the uh, instances is equal to ec2 dot instances so basically here i am uh, taking the uh, filters based on this above uh, filters function into this uh, instances so for instances instances so here i have taken this uh, for loop for each instance uh, i am going to append this error and i can print this uh, whatever the instant id is into this ls dot append with this instant id then print ls so it will print the instant ids so later uh, i'm going to take the bucket and the object key from the event in the aws uh, lambda function so for that i have taken this event function with this s3 bucket name and i stored into, into this bucket and whatever the object is i have taken this uh, library dot parse and good uh, whatever the i have taken from this event function i can pass it down to this uh, input to this key event to record as the bucket then finally i can take this uh, file name with this local file name where your file is located inside the local system after that i am going to download the file from s3 bucket so for that i am using the client by using this S3 download with the bucket and local file name. So for the writing in CSP file, uh, this is the one. Uh, with open the uh, folder where your file is located and uh, it is separated by new line as if. Then I'm going to take this csp.writer function with the W and uh, whatever the instant ID is I have taken with the sample. And I'm going to add it with the instant IDs and take it in pass into this sample uh, parameter with this uh, right row then for i in ls means for each in instance like this we can write uh, with the w dot right row and finally i am uploading this file into the s3 bucket with uh, by using this client so once you uploaded the code then you can configure this test event so for that uh, so I have the code so let me just try this code This is my code, whatever uh, I have discussed now. So here you need to mention this uh, local file name. Whatever uh, the local file name is there, then you can just mention here. So let's just click on this deploy. So it's updated the function. Then just go to this test event. So now I am going to create one event for this lambda function. So 
demo event i have given this name and if we go to this template i am going to select the s3 port so if we come to this uh, json file so you need to change this bucket name for a test bucket this is my s3 bucket so copy this and you need to paste it over here similarly we can change here bucket your bucket name and uh, the object with the keys you need to take this uh, sp5 then just click on this here so you can just test this so it got a uh, succeeded status so our event is now working so let's go to my ppt so we have configured this test event for this uh, lambda function so later uh, in the task file i'm going to install in python and boto3 and uh, configure the aws cli on the ec2 server so let me take one ec2 server okay Service. Click on the service. So we'll go to instances. Launch instance. Ubuntu service. Launch server. So I'm going to select this Ubuntu OS. And with the twenty dot zero four version, so let me select the key pair. Okay, let me create key pair. Origin key. So create key pair. Then. Whatever the network options, keep is uh, default. So click on launch instance. So the instances is pending state. Okay. Let me wait. So let me connect with my backend. On the EC2 server, we are going to install this Python uh, Boto3 and that configure the AWS CLI. So once the server is up and running, we can make the SSH connection to the Mobax star. Okay, now the server is ready. So take this public IP. Pasted over here. The uh, username is Ubuntu. So go to this advanced SSH settings. Use your private key. So okay, we have downloaded uh, the test key. Okay, let me go to my downloads. This is my Oregon key, which I have created now. So click on this pocket. So my server is connected. So let me update this by using
So let me configure this AWS CLI first. APT install. So click on me. After that, uh, we are going to configure this AWS credentials inside this uh, Ubuntu server. So for that, I have my credentials. this access key ID. And also the secret key. default here okay Oregon region so US West too so after that I'm going to install this Python 3 Ticket install. Python three. Enter. So Python three set is number installed. So you can verify with this uh, Python three hyphen hyphen version. So this is my Python 3.8.10 version. After that, I'm going to install this PIP, pip install, sudo apt get. So this is for the pip installation. So once it is configured, then we can install this Boto3 on my Ubuntu server. So you can also verify this version also with the Hyphen hyphen version. It's twenty dot zero dot two, and uh, the final one is P three install boto three. It is now so successfully installed the bottle on my uh, Ubuntu server. So 
So once we have installed the Python Boto 3 and configuring its AWS CLI on the Ubuntu server, then we are going to create uh, ec 2 by using this Boto 3 Python script. Uh, this is the one. Uh, we are going to import this Boto 3. So here I am going to create the resource uh, ec 2 with the help of Boto 3. And I am going to create the instances, ec 2 create instances uh, with the following parameters uh, with image ID and the minimum and maximum instances with the instance type and also the key name. So this will create the EC2 servers with the help of this Boto3 script on the AWS console. So once the Boto3 install, so let me create um, and this file is available so, ec2 dot py so I have this EC2 code um, so we need to change this AMI ID so let's go to this launch instance so go to this Ubuntu version we will choose this uh, AMI ID Zero five and law six nine f. Okay, and we can create a maximum. Instances and the key name you need to select the key name your your key name. For example, right. Okay. okay, I will wish to verify my key name. Okay, oh, R E G Y N. So click on escape column WQ to save this file. So after that, you need to execute the company. Enter. So is executed so let me go to the aws console or uh, ec2 console so now the three ec2s are now days in pending state okay now the ec2s are creating So once the EC tools are created, now ready, then we will go to this Lambda function and we can test the event.
so your ec2 sir created with boto3 and uh, your ec2 is count to and also the ids are pulled from the lambda function that way you are integrating these two yes right, in the yes. demo yes boto3 and lambda mm yes right Okay, now the servers are running instead. So let me go to this AWS Lambda. So here I have the, okay, let me test this. So if you can see this uh, IDs, request IDs, uh, this is the 0.8 I can verify with my IDs, EC2 instance IDs. Okay, let me take this first. Okay, this is already we have created. Uh, let me take this. This is 0.4 and 9.53. You can verify here. Uh, see here, 0.4 and 9.53, one EC2 uh, instance ID. And similarly, this is 087FE. You can just verify 087FE. I will just increase my so that it will be visible clearly. So let me take this, just to go down. Okay. This is 0C 8B3 and 0C uh, 8B3. So the instant side is uh, verified. So yeah. let me just. But it is uh, pulled into Excel sheet, right? Already into the S3 Excel sheet. Yes, yes, yes. We can verify. You can see, show that, right? Instead of showing in the log files. That is only log file, Lambda log file, right? Yeah. So I have this my Lambda. So that is Lambda S3. So I'll just go to this file. So you can download, download it. Just uh, download it and uh, open that in Excel. Should have four IDs, right? Mm. Yes, yes. Yes. yes, very good. Yes. <coughs> so what you did is uh, you installed the PIP and uh, Auto3 setup with CLI and uh, you connected to AWS and running the EC2 creation script with four EC2s. Uh, with Boto3 and uh, in Python. Then later you have made the function, uh, that function, uh, Lambda function with uh, S3 and by pulling the IDs, EC2, existing EC2 IDs and uh, uh, copying into Excel sheet. Yes, yes. Right. Okay. <clears throat> That's all right, your demo. Yeah, yes. Good, good, good. And and, stop uh, yeah, you want to explain something? Yeah, we have finally we can delete this easy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, deletion also should be there, right? Yeah, so for that you will be running in Boto 3 this script. Yes, yes. This is the AC2 with the help of Boto Again, if you run the lambda function, it will dump only blank. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, IDs will be there, right? Yes, yes. Because we are giving the name state uh, with the uh, uh, whatever we need to require, you, we need to mention that uh, name of the state uh, inside this yes. function, lambda function. Mm. So we just go to here. So I'll create. Uh, You'll be creating one more script. Terminate uh, dot py. Well, no, not sudo. Sudo vi.
So you can mention this uh, instance ID is here. But do you need instance IDs without inst uh, side is also you can delete it, right? All okay. If you mention one by one, then those only will be deleted. <clears throat> if you don't mention instance IDs, then existing instances will be deleted, right? Mm, yeah. So okay. if I take uh, Ideal thing is instance IDs need to be mentioned it. So I'll take yes, this. Yes. yes. So if you want, you can do two more, one more or two more. You can give, or you can delete all four. So for that, uh, let me just give this star so that. Hmm. First, you want to test this. Okay, let me test with the one I see two instance. Mm. Yes. Colon wk. Enter. Uh, Python 3. And yet dot p. There is some syntax error. We have made a comma or something. Check the code. Okay. Actually, I have code in my local. So I think I need to. I need to Move select comma. Um, Edit it. Spelling mistake. Okay, okay. Corrected, right? Both of the client and EC2 only. This file, Python 3, unexpected indentation. A comma the or something, there is some uh, syntax error. <coughs> yes, yes, line check that. Okay. See the script of syntax from internet or somewhere. Where did you get the script? Brackets you see, what are the brackets balancing? Open and close in brackets.
Okay, that's good. Enter. Okay, what was the other? Indentation, uh, space yeah. in between. Space in between what? Brackets, sir. Huh? Uh, yeah, brackets. Okay, okay. <clears throat> right. So if you go is it deleted? to one refresh. Deleting? Yeah, this is shutting okay, down. Shutting down and terminating. Okay, good. So this is the way you can shut down the instances also by giving the instance IDs. Okay, now that's all right. Mm, yes, yes. Okay, good. Nice talk.